And after nights of chaos in our city, we're left with what's next? Last night's protests not as destructive as those we've seen in nights past, but this morning the focus turned to cleanup. Rose McBride shares these efforts. After three days of protests and a lot of destruction, now the focus has turned to clean up and returning Louisville to what it once was. Early Sunday morning, crews were out in downtown Louisville working to clean up glass and garbage and remove graffiti from walls quickly and efficiently. A, a big part of the cleanup has been completed already, so uh, it's important that people see that we have an orderly city. I mean, that's how we're trying to manage this whole thing, and part of that is being a clean city. The Public Works, Parks and Facilities Departments have been working every morning, but other groups have popped up throughout the city just wanting to help out. Both yesterday and today, we have had the most terrific group of citizen volunteers. Volunteers with the Louisville Downtown Partnership brought brooms and garbage bags on Sunday morning to do their part to bring the city back to normal. Volunteers also came out Saturday morning to do the same. There was a lot of disruption and destruction of planner boxes and the things that we really use to do beautification downtown, which was really disappointing. The Louisville Downtown Partnership Executive Director Rebecca Matheny says this weekend is just the beginning and they'll keep working until Louisville is back to the city we know and love. It's been so incredibly rewarding, but I'm not surprised. I'm a native Louisvillean and this is what we do. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.